Hello, hello. So I was looking at the YouTube live thing and I thought, well, what's the advantage of streaming to YouTube compared to Twitch? And I must say that uh, Twitch have a lot of more advantages than YouTube live. So this is basically, if you go to YouTube and scroll down a bit on the left pane, on navigation pane, you have this explore part. And if you click on live, this is what you get. Um, there's no categories or anything. Well, kind of, but this is not really categories. These are actually playlists. Uh, and there's not many of them. For example, if you go to news, this is what you get. And we go to gaming. Yeah, same thing here. There's no game categories or anything. So if you go to Twitch, for example, they have a bunch of game categories here. And if you go into League of Losers, yeah, you have a bunch of stuff here. All the people that stream kind of, uh, yeah, this game. And you can sort them high to low viewers. So uh, the top viewers, so the top streamers at the top, you can sort them to low to high. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> um, what you do basically on YouTube is that you have to search, for example, uh, Minecraft. But the only thing you get here, yeah, of course, they are promoting shorts all the time. I hate them. But there's no live here. This is just regular uploaded videos. Um, so what you need to do is click filters. And under features, you have the live. And you can also sort view count. So the top viewer shows like this. Yeah, so that kind of works. But the problem is that if I go, uh, let's say I go back to live here, I search for Minecraft again, uh, the filters will be reset. Or if I search for a different game, it will be reset. So what you can do is basically set them to live and view count, and then you save it as a bookmark. And next time you click on that bookmark, it will be sort of the filters will be there as well. Uh, yeah, if you search, for example, um, Twitch have tags, search tags. So for example, a English. Uh, like this, uh, if you set tags to English on your stream. Uh, yeah, I will only get like English stuff. It can be uh, like Chinese or whatever, or Japanese who set the stream to English anyway, but yeah. The problem with this is that next time you go into this category, um, it doesn't remember the tags. That's kind of annoying, but uh, yeah. And there's a bunch of other background stuff that works a lot better. We're going to stream here. One of them, for example, uh, if I maximize the window uh, like this, the video player will actually resize accordingly, uh, depending how big your screen are or your monitor. Um, it also have these uh, panels. You have these text panels and you can have extensions. For example, if I go to my channel, chat 
you have these text panels and also these different extensions. For example, I have this, uh, <clears throat> it's called sound alerts. So people can click here and it's basically a soundboard. Um, you can have this leaderboard from stream elements, stuff like that. You can watch location and stuff, people, where people come from. Yeah, stuff like that. And these images is linkable as well. So if you click on the image, you will get to a specific website or page. Yeah, this is a lot better. Um, YouTube doesn't really have this kind of thing. And yeah, then we have like a bunch of external third party tools like chatbots or whatever. I have stream elements. Uh, you can have that on YouTube as well, but it works a lot better on Twitch. Uh, so, yeah, some commands that I have here on Twitch doesn't work on YouTube and stuff. So, yeah, you can also have uh, <clears throat> overlays, but uh, they kind of work differently on YouTube. Well, especially the alerts and you know, someone follow you and stuff. Yeah, the only advan advantage with YouTube right now that I can see is that uh, you can stream at higher bitrate. And also the VODs, when you're done streaming, uh, if you choose to sort of save the stream on YouTube, uh, it will be saved forever until actually you yourself uh, delete it but on twitch it will uh, the var will only be saved like a month i think for a regular user uh, for a partner it's a lot longer i have a twitch turbo so uh, my streams will be saved for two months instead of one month uh, yeah, so that's basically the only advantage with YouTube, I think. That's the quality, the bitrate. Bitrate on Twitch uh, is maximum of 6 megabits for everyone, for regular users. Uh, for partners, they are it's 8 megabits. Uh, I think, I don't know about affiliates, but I think that's six megabits as well. Um, on uh, YouTube live, uh, the maximum bitrate is 51 megabits. So yeah, it's like eight times better. <laughs> um, yeah, and the same thing, yeah, if you go into a live stream here, the, the video player doesn't really resize. When you maximize the window, it's still the same size. Unless you actually do the full screen thing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit weird. So the discoverability on YouTube Live is not that great compared to uh, Twitch. But uh, yeah, YouTube is all about search because, you know, it's owned by Google. Google is a search company, so what it started out to be at least. But yeah. So I might just stick with the Twitch because it works better. Um, everything but works so much better, both with the third party tools and stuff, extension and whatever. Works so much better on Twitch. Yeah, a little rant about that. So uh, catch you later.